grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I honor William Dean Howells, born in Ohio, March 1, 1837. His father edited a Whig Party newspaper. He apprenticed with a typesetter, then worked at the state legislature while submitting poems and short stories for publication. In 1860, the Abraham Lincoln campaign hired him to write a biography for the candidate. This proved to be highly effective among voters. As a reward, the president appointed him consul in Venice. Howells later became editor at the Atlantic Monthly. Influentially, he advocated commemorating the Civil War, quote, as faith in the justice of our cause and in our immutable destiny as God's agents to give freedom to mankind. And the ideas of our peace are gratitude and exultant industry. Monuments should, quote, work collectively to bring the new order declared by the Emancipation Proclamation into being. Literary giants Nathaniel Hawthorne and Henry James and Ralph Waldo Emerson and Mark Twain were among his friends. Howell's novels realistically portrayed the lives of ordinary people. In 1904, the American Academy of Arts and Letters elected him its first president. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandolpartisan.com.